So I'm here with Hack with me, and she is going to show me how to use the pressure cooker to cook some veggies. Got some broccoli and some Brussels sprouts. Oh, yeah. Carrots. So, well, I'm gonna put some just because I have carrots. I need to eat this stuff, so. All fresh veggies. Just put Thank a little you. bit of water in there. Not a lot. And how long will it take for the veggies? One minute. <gasps> as soon as it... As soon as it starts it, rattling. It makes it... Well, this one's not going to rattle. Oh, okay. It's going to just go... Psh, oh. My How's it go? One, psh, going turn it up pretty, and we'll, pretty warm so we'll build up pressure a bit, 15 pounds of pressure that's a 15 pound mm -hmm. weight Is that yeah correct? most cooking of it when you cook in pressure cookers 10 or 15 pounds okay it's starting to steam out the top here we go oh do you see that pop up So that's the pressure. That's that like means 15. the pressure is up to 15 now, and it's going to blow in a minute. So we wait for that though. It's going to blow. Actually, gets to 15. It's going to it lets the pressure out to keep it at 15. And then that's when you say it only takes about a minute to cook after that. Yeah. And then do you wait and just let it depressurize by itself? Oh no! For vegetables, you have to bring the pressure down immediately because it's going to keep cooking. It take it, the uh, vegetables will be like mush. Yeah. So all I do is I'm going to take it over here and dump a little water on it, and the pressure goes right down. <sighs> okay. So but for meat, meat usually you just leave it in there and let the pressure go down. But so and it cooks a little oh. bit. It'll cook a little bit more. Ooh, look at that. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, that'd scare me. <laughs> Glad I've seen that before. At that point, you turn it down. So it'll go pshhh again. Well, it has to go like a minute. It, it, might, take, it might do that a couple times. Ah. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, so that's right, how you do that. the whole thing went down? Yeah. Oh. Now they're... And then you can wiggle this and no pressure's coming out. This pressure Open it up. Oh, look at that. It's a veggies. Oh, see, and the color is awesome. See, Dub is about to cook some steaks. So we and can have fajitas later. Fajitas, and over here, I'm going to cook some taco meat. But first, I am going to <laughs> cut up some pico de gallo. Onion. Hey, you need some onion in there, see that? Actually, I do. Garlic salt. Lots of garlic salt. Pepper. And some cilantro leaves. I can never keep cilantro very long, so I just buy this dehydrated cilantro. So I'm put a lot of it in there. Put this handy dandy little lid on here. And then crank. I bought this at the big tent last year at Quartzsite. And I love it to make pico de gallo. Voila, it's done. Look at that. Fast and easy. Now I need to taste it. It'll probably need some more seasoning.
Ooh, it's hot. I don't think it needs any more jalapenos. Maybe a little bit more garlic salt. And some more. You can't get enough cilantro. Fajita! I need to turn it back on. Oh, do you want some of these, these oh, onions? Yeah. Cooking up some taco meat for Cast Iron Wednesday. taco seasoning and this is just mixed up spices like one of those packets but it's homemade oh, I'll stick I drained all the grease out of it need to add some water fields out here and up here if we go a little further there's people working the farm by hand so we are out here in farmland of Arizona the plains are flying over and I think we realized that it is crop dusters. Here, you see that? Crop duster. And they'll do this for about, probably about an hour or so. There we go. 